Good morning and welcome to House of God's Grace Daily Devotion. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you have woken me up, Lord. Father God, I pray that each and every person tune in this morning, that their hearts would be receptive to your word. Holy Spirit, come and take your place. Father, we know that there's nothing too hard for you, Lord. So we ask, Father God, for hearts that are soft and that are open to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning, I want to read a short story in the Bible. And then I just want to latch Romans 8, verse 38 to 39 onto that. So let me just get started. It is the story of the Samaritan woman at the well. I'm not going to read the whole story. I just want to read a few things that's, that I want highlighted. Okay. So it is John verse 4 from verses 9 onwards. Okay. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, Ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman. For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would ask him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. When then do you get where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our, than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will, f will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water spring up into everlasting life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, Go call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. For you had five husbands and the one whom you have is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one you now have is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. I can only imagine what this woman was feeling. When Jesus said to her that yes, she doesn't have a husband, but she had five. How often do we conceal the things that we are not proud of? And we allow those things to separate us from our relationship with God. It separates us from praying. It separates us from drawing near to him, studying his word. We allow that which we are not proud of to separate us. And this morning, God wants me to remind you, as it stands in Romans 8, verse 38 to 39, that there's nothing that can separate you from the love of the Father. And it says in Romans 8, 38, <laughs> For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing we say or do will ever separate us from the love of the Father. The Samaritan woman, her secret, or the one thing that she knew was her truth, Jesus revealed it. 
the very things that we conceal, the very things that we hid deep down in the crevice of our hearts, are the things that the Lord is aware of. And He doesn't judge us for it. He asks us to come alignment with Him. He, he wants us to get to a place where we say, Lord, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to carry this in my heart anymore because it is making me sick. It is robbing me of my joy. Take it, Lord. You handle it. Because your word says, cast all your cares upon me, him, Jesus, and he will sustain you. So what is it this morning that you are concealing and that only you know? Only you know. And for the woman at the well, she was honest. And that's what God asked. Because she said, I don't have a husband. We need to get to a place where we are honest with ourselves and honest with God about the things that we are concealing. Because those very things the enemy uses to separate us from God. And the longer we hold on to it, the further we move from the Lord. And God is drawing us closer to Him. He's drawing us closer to Him. God is a gentle God and a loving Heavenly Father. He will not force Himself on you. He's not a physical if you had a father who wasn't that good of a father to you, we tend to, we tend to judge God by the physical representation of whether it is a father, so we can't see him as a father. We judge God by the physical representation of a man or a male that disappointed us. And so we have this notion that that is what's going to happen with our relationship with God. And it's something I struggle with. Because I, yes, I grew up in a single parent home. My mom and dad was divorced. And so I had a father wound. And I would go and look for love in the wrong places. And I struggle to accept the love of the Father. But the more I choose to draw closer to God and the more I choose to pursue Him and get to know Him through His Word, through prayer and through worship, the more His character is revealed to me. God also puts people on our paths and if we are awake, we will know who they are. And those people have been brought into our lives, whether it is a season or a lifetime, but they have still been brought to our lives. To allow the Lord to restore the things that need to be restored in us. It is very important that we are awake to notice those people. And grab it with both our hands and not lean on our own understanding or think of how we want things to work out, but that we should yield to the Spirit and allow the Lord to lead us. So I go back to the Samaritan woman. Jesus told her, He told her the very thing that she was holding deep down within her, her secret. He told her who she was. And what she had. She chose to be honest with him. And through that her deliverance came. You can go read the story further. But I want to remind you. That not even that. Separated her from God. Not even that fact that she had five husbands. Separated from her relationship. That she now would be able to have with her father. Whatever it is that you are concealing, you need to acknowledge it. You need to confess it to the Lord to allow His presence to come into your life. And there is a promise. 
that nothing can separate you from the love of the Father. We have to believe that and take a step towards Him. He requires of us to be honest with what is going on inside of us. So my prayer for you this morning, remember that nothing can separate you from the love of the Father. Let it all at the cross and allow Him to come and draw you close to Him. And He will never let you go. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you, Lord, that you are on the throne. I thank you, Lord, that we can come in our fellowship with you in this time, Lord. Father, I pray that Romans 8, verse 38 to 39 would become alive, it would come alive, Father God, that you will illuminate it for each and every person that is watching this video this morning, God. Your word declares that nothing can separate us from your love. So whatever it is that is stopping us from moving forward, God, I declare right now, that you break it in the name of Jesus, Father God. That you would remove all that junk and rubble, Lord, that is that is occupying our hearts, Father God. I pray, Lord God, for humility. I ask God that for honesty, Lord God, to come to the fore. I pray, Lord, that you will work, that you will do a new work in our hearts this morning. That whatever it is that is stopping us from pursuing you, Lord, that you would remove it from our lives right now in the name of Jesus. I ask for courage, Lord God. For each and every person that is having to reflect this morning and just call upon your name and they will know lord that you will save them thank you lord for your example lord god that you i loving heavenly father that you are gentle lord god thank you for the gentleman that you are lord i pray lord god that bondages will be broken in the name of jesus i pray for mindsets to be renewed in the name of jesus I pray, Lord God, that we will see you through your word and we will stand up, we will stand, stand upon your word, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen.